Hello folks, Tiso here with a quick starter guide to Lost Ark. This is more of a general guide to help you push you forward and get you started without making any of the major mistakes. There are three main ways or type of players that will be playing this game. One is the one that is super into PvP. All you care about is just PvP. So that is the easiest one to actually guide you through. Another one is more of a generalized player that does a little bit of PvE content a little PvP, some minor events here and there, you know, just the ones that's just here to experience the game and have fun, which is gonna be most people. And then the third type is the hardcore people that want to do raiding and endgame stuff and want to really min-max their character as much as they can. I will talk about the recommended path for each of those playstyles, as well as a bunch of general tips that will definitely help you out through your journey. The PvP one is super easy. You just need to be level 26 and reach Lutera Castle from the story and you can unlock PvP by going to this board. Once you unlock it, you can actually go and click on the this button here to activate this PvP menu anywhere without being next to the board, which will save you some time. To get here, you will need to just follow the main story quest, which is this golden shield icon. This and just plow through that, ignore all the other side stuff along the way since you don't really care about them if you are just here for the PvP. If you are here to pretty much experience everything the game has to offer but not really waste too much time on min-maxing every little bit, then just do the main story and pick up what other side story quests with the yellow exclamation points as well as do all the purple quests, then you'll be on a pretty good way. You don't really need to look at guides to find all where all the hidden items are and collectibles. Just have fun, enjoy, do what you see, and just proceed through the game. This is also probably the easiest and best way to enjoy the game as well. And you could probably tackle on some dailies and some minor raid stuff once you hit max level. If you think you are really into the game and want to get as strong as possible for the end game raids and everything, then use this website which has maps of every zone in the game that tells you the locations of all the collectibles. The important ones are these Mokoko seeds that you see here as well as a bunch of other stuff that fills out your adventure home. To access your adventure home, you push the end key which will lead you here that tells you everything that is in a certain region. These are vistas which are sightseeing points you have collectibles, which don't worry about those, that is very, takes a long time to get. You have recipes, that is a lot quicker to get. And then as well as 15 unique mobs in each region as well, as a bunch of hidden stories and two other stories. So if you look at the web page, you can see all these are listed on the website. So let me just go ahead and follow the path here to... Number four, Foul Mouth Baker, which is a hidden story. So those are, I guess, like its name mentions, it's hidden. So it's somewhere on the ground where the quest indicator says. So apparently it's right here, this little thing. If I investigate it, I'll get the Foul Mouth Baker completed and I get one charisma for it. So doing all these little hidden stories and side quests and events, will give you more stats on your character, which will help you talk with other NPCs and gain more rapport and trust. So it's a whole system that builds on itself. You just keep collecting to be able to collect more. And over here, the bell tower, is this little magnifying glass thing. These are the vistas. So these are your sightseeing locations, which is also part of the adventures, uh, adventures home. So I just did the bell tower, so this unlocked as well. And pretty much, you the more you unlock, the more rewards you get. These are the rewards you're getting for each area, in addition to the stats you're getting. So just take your time and go comb through every map, since all of these are pretty much unlocked right from the get-go. But if you are just wanting to try out the game and see how endgame and everything feels, then ignore collecting everything and just go through the main story. Also, some of the hidden stories have multiple parts, 
like right here this is the shushire boys one out of two so if i investigate it i'll get the same pop-up but it's one out of two so when i look back here it's not completed yet so that means i have to go to the next one the part two in order to continue and A lot of these with multiple parts will require you to get them in this correct order. So there is a lot of traveling back and forth to get all the seeds and hidden stories and everything here. But it is worth it if you want to get those extra stats and EXP in the long run. But you don't really need to if you're just here to try out the game and play every once in a while. Now for some important advice for your journey in Lost Ark. First off, you don't want to waste your resources, so the phoenix plumes that you use when you revive, don't use those while you're leveling. Only save them for end game raids if even that. Then there are also the potions. There are two types. One is the healing potion and the other is the HP potion. The healing potions are fine to use because they recover a set amount, so as you level up higher, they are becoming less and less effective, but the HP potions do not use those while leveling. Those recover a percentage health, so it was always going to be good, and you can only use these in raids, so you want to save as much as you can, since they are pretty expensive to make. And speaking of consumables, you also get a whole bunch of battle items, which I will not use until endgame. They are limited, so you want to save them up until you really need them. You also get a whole bunch of chests that gives you a selection of battle items, I suggest saving these until later on when you find out what you want and what you need, then use them afterwards. And a fast way to get to this screen is with your pet. So you can go to the pet menu, which is Alt plus P, and then you can see all the pet functions here. You can choose to check out your pet's inventory or the remote storage like I showed earlier. You can also jump to list items on the market board, check your mail, repair, and do all that stuff on the fly with your pet. So they're quite useful in addition to picking up items. And on your journey, you'll be traveling a lot. So make sure you keep using your spacebar to keep your dash on cooldown. You can also mount almost anywhere in the game, and they can also have a dash or other actions that make them move a little faster. So every little bit helps, make sure you keep those abilities on cooldown as you explore. And then also the important part is your combat skills which is the tripod system. This is pretty much all your skills and then as you level your skills, you can pick different talents or traits which is called the tripods. You can switch them up on the fly whenever you want, so you don't have to commit. I can change things around and level them um, as needed and play around with what you think feels nice. You are not hard committed to any of these specs on the tripod, and you can change them as often as you want, for free. So play around with different abilities and see what you like and enjoy using. And speaking of abilities, each class have their own unique abilities, but there are no bad classes. Just pick the one that you enjoy playing more than what is powerful. Don't worry about tier lists or anything like that on different classes. They're all viable, so just pick the one you enjoy playing instead of being forced to play something you hate. Next tip is about navigation. As you explore, you want to activate all these triports everywhere you can since those are pretty much your fast travel. You can use them by opening the map and clicking on it, but the faster way is to open up the minimap with tab, and then if you highlight or mouse over one of the tripods, you can see the shortcut Alt plus left click. You can do that and then teleport as well, which will save you some extra clicks on the map. You might notice I have a pretty big widescreen view here, even though my monitor is just standard. You could set it to widescreen, which will let you see more of the game, by going into options, and then video, and then forcing the 21 to 9 aspect ratio. If I don't have it, I see less of the game. Notice how this NPC here is cut in half, but when I do go to the widescreen, I see a good chunk more. This does give you an advantage at farther range stuff, but it's not required, so it's up to you on which kind of view setting you like. And those are some of the general tips I have to get you started on your adventure. There's a whole bunch of more topics to talk about, and those will need more time since briefing over it will not do those justice. So for now, thanks for watching, 
and enjoy your adventure with Lost Ark.